Since the magnitude 7.2 earthquake hit Taiwan on Wednesday, at least 181 buildings have been reported damaged. Some of them partially collapsed during the shaking, and many were left tilted to one side. But even buildings with no apparent damage can still be unsafe. A civil engineer says it's important to check all buildings carefully after an earthquake. Here's how. Since the Hualien earthquake, at least 181 buildings nationwide have been reported damaged. Across Taiwan, some 4.4 million buildings are at least 30 years old, accounting for more than half the total. A civil engineer has tips for how to check your building after an earthquake. On the surface of your walls, egg-shaped cracks will appear first. That's followed by the protective layer falling off. So if you discover X-shaped cracks, you should immediately call a technician for an inspection. Once the second thing happens, once the protective layer falls off, you'll have a serious situation on your hands. Pillars are more important than beams, the engineer says. There are three steps to take during a visual inspection. Check the pillars and beams, check the doors and windows, and make a note of any cracks you find. These cracks are in a checkerboard pattern. Those are checkerboard cracks. The structure has already been damaged. Now over here, there's already fracturing. After rainwater seeps in, the steel rebars corrode causing cracking across the entire floor slab, so that area over could collapse at any time. A floor slab with rusted rebars and checkerboard cracks, a pillar with X-shaped cracks and delaminated concrete. Another seismic risk common to urban buildings is apartments with shop fronts on the first floor. If you have convenience stores or other shop fronts on the first floor, it is very likely that they knocked out some walls. That is extremely unfavourable for earthquake resistance. So if you encounter any issues like this, you should report it quickly to your building's management. A careful inspection after an earthquake can mean the difference between life and death. A simple marble can be placed on the floor to check for tilting. If you find anything unusual, call the 1999 hotline to report it. You should also notify your borough warden or call up your local township office for inspection. Every building has a life cycle, so routine safety inspections are a must.